us here we have a heat recovery ventilation system. So what we did here, we brought the air feeding it underground, the fresh air comes underground under here from that area of trees. Now the idea of that there was so we hoped for maybe a better quality of air, maybe some uh, more oxygen in it to bring it in and that's what we feed it with. And the idea as well is it lowers the parameters of the weather. If, if it was say plus 30 for example, mm -hmm. it would only be about plus 16 when it would hit the machine. If it was minus 18, it would probably only be about plus 6 when it would hit the machine. So uh, you're, uh, you're not as wide a margin when you hit. So that's basically outside, other than the likes of here, that's our low grade water harvester. Now, as you see, it's just gravity into a tank. That flushes the three toilets and it has no problem doing it. I think a millimetre of rain will flush them for a week. Flush the three toilets for a week. Uh, as Fiona here has told us here that there's nothing to be gained by harvesting water. So we haven't done anything of any expense, uh, but it works. The proprietary systems are just too expensive, you don't get the yeah. feedback. You, you, you they never there. pay for themselves. And that works, and uh, say for example that you'd leave stuff in the pipe. Mm -hmm. You can go in, uh, uh, if there was no water or it was freezing, you turn two valves and you're back onto the, the, the well water again. You can also turn one and blow the dirt up out of the pipe back in you know, to clean it, so it, 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 works, it works quite well. So then we'll move on then, or if there was anything else, there's not really much else to the outside on the top of the latest windows, the wide soffit. You see the wide soffit here was more for the south elevation, the house itself faces exactly due south, and that's to maximize the, the early morning sun will come here, we'll get a little heat from it here. Uh, and then sometimes when we gain the natural solar again the whole way around the front. The white soffit that we have here uh, is just for um, in the summertime when the sun's high and very hot, it provides a shading to prevent the house from overheating. Uh, I noticed John you saw the wee ventilator there. That's a wee ventilator that feeds the stove, so there's direct air feed to the stove, so we don't have to have a ventilator uh, in the the room. Um, How's the evacuated uh, tube? These are our evacuated know. tubes. Now, last Wednesday was Wednesday was quite a cool day here. Mm -hmm. The water was 42 degrees in those tubes. Mm -hmm. We're sort of astounded by the, the heat of it, as far as it goes. Um, so. Uh, where the house is positioned, there's no shading that it really blocks, so we can benefit from the early morning sun to the late evening sun. Living areas, mainly at the front, there's the bathroom, ensuite, and the wee dressing room are the only three rooms that don't benefit from natural solar gain of some form. The north elevation of the house, being the coldest, the garage is placed on that northern elevation which shades about 50% of it mm -hmm. and that leaves that we don't have the same heat loss out through it. So if we follow on in, so in the eyes here. all proper base wonders. Yes. 